So if you have AirPods, whatever generation you have, be it just the regular AirPods, first gen, second gen, or even the AirPods Pro you see here, I'm basically going to be showing you how you can update the firmware version that's periodically updated by Apple on your AirPods. And that way it will be able to help you fix some of the bugs and issues that Apple tries to resolve as they release these updates. And even though there actually isn't a direct manual from Apple on how to do this, the process itself is actually pretty simple. I've been doing it for years and every time I do it, it just works. So this is the formula. So the first thing you want to do on your Apple devices, it can be, you can do this using your iPhone or iPad, is to basically open up your AirPods and make sure that they are connected. And then you notice the green indicator light on the AirPods, just give it a few seconds and then it will disappear. Boom, you see it has disappeared. And now if you want, well, you can close this pop-up screen that's here. It's just showing you your AirPods percentage and your case percentage. So that's the first stage, just make sure they are connected and just give it a few seconds until the LED indicator disappears. Once it's done, you can close this and now, what you can do is to basically just lay your phone down and then lay your AirPods close to your iPhone relatively close like this. Leave it for some time. Usually takes about five minutes on average for it to install the latest firmware version. Now, if doing this doesn't work, what you want to do is to connect your AirPods to your iPhone. And once they are connected, if you go into your settings and they are connected successfully, you should be able to see it directly under your Apple ID right there. So you can see my AirPods. If you click there, then you want to look at the percentage, make sure that at least the pods themselves, they are charged above 75% and the cases was charged above 75%. Once you make sure that they are charged or if they are not yet charged, well, then you want to go ahead and take the cable that came with your AirPods. This one is lightning, but if you have the USB-C AirPods, the process is going to be more or less the same. Connect it here and then connect it to a charger so that your AirPods begin to charge. Now, keep in mind that if your battery percentage is really low, that might actually delay your update process a little bit. So connect it to a charger. If it's not yet charged, at least aim for a percentage above 75%. And then they, they should update and after some time you can disconnect them and then check again and go to all the way down and you be, should be able to see the latest firmware version on the AirPods and you can see and this time this time this is what I have. Now if you don't know what the current firmware version, there's a publicly available page. It's just called about firmware updates for AirPods. You can Google it and it's available on AirPods page. If you refresh the page and you look for the version of AirPods that you have, like for example, AirPods Pro second gen, you can see the latest firmware version or AirPods second gen. If you have the AirPods Pro first gen, or if you have the AirPods Max, you can see all the AirPods that Apple has ever released, they are listed here with the associated latest firmware versions. So that way, once you've done the two steps I mentioned, then you can check and see if they are updated to the latest firmware version. Sometimes you do have to wait a little bit longer, but usually those two steps work pretty good and I haven't had any issues myself. That's how I usually update my AirPods. Now, if you are wanting to update your AirPods without using your iPhone or your iPad, the process is also pretty simple itself. So what you want to do is to make sure that the AirPods are connected to your Mac or the device that you want to use if it's a Mac or iPad, then just make sure that they are close by and you can leave them on the table like this close to the Mac that they are connected to or the iPad and they should be able to update within five minutes. On the Mac, another step that you can do is to, if they are a lightning connector like AirPods, if they have a lightning connector on the bottom, you can connect them to your AirPods right here and then run the cable to your Mac. They will automatically begin to charge and you can also leave them connected to your Mac via a cable connection. And then that way they will also update. 
the same process doesn't seem to work for iPhone. Like if you connect your cable, let's say your lightning end or your USB-C end to the AirPods and then you connect the other end to the iPhone, it doesn't seem to update that way. What works best on the iPhone and iPad seems to be the wireless connection method. So that's how it's done. And if you've done the wired connect connection to your Mac and it doesn't work and you've done the wireless connection to your phone or iPad and it still doesn't seem to work, then what you want to do is to make sure that they are connected at least to your phone or iPad or device you want to use to update to. And once it's done like this, you can unlock your device and then you can either use Apple TV to play any songs or any movies that are there and listen to a track for like 30 seconds to a minute. If you don't want to use Apple TV, you can use Apple Music as, as well. It, the process seems to work the same. And the good thing about this is that you can listen to music using even third party applications like Spotify as well. So I sometimes have had to do that, but it's very rare way they don't update like using the first two methods I mentioned. So once you start listening to them, you can take out one of your AirPods, put it in, make sure it's working. You can close the case and then make sure it continues to play even though the case is down. And then you can put back the same AirPods that you were listening to, take the other and and then continue to listen to tracks and make sure that it continues to play and then put them back in your case just like this close the case and then just give it a few seconds and then open them up again and take now both airpods like this and put them in your ear and just make sure that they continue to play and now you know that they are both connected successfully and there's no hiccups that you're experiencing once that is done then you can basically leave them laying down to your iPhone like this. You don't really have to close this pop-up screen here. So you can now leave them connected to your iPhone. If they are low on battery, leave them charging and give it about five minutes. If you have low battery, then of course you have to allow for more time. And that way they will be able to update. Usually I use the wireless method myself and it seems to work seamless but if you do have to use the wired method on your mac connecting the cable to your airpods and then charging them on your mac that works too if you do have to take them out and listen to music one by one that works but in most cases it just seems to update i just wish apple would give us a manual option maybe under settings in the uh, in the apple id or under bluetooth where we can manually force an update for airports and then that way it will save you some time you don't have to wait for like five minutes for it to update to the latest firmware over the air but yeah let me know what issues you're experiencing maybe i might have experienced something or know someone who's experienced a similar issue when it comes to updating the firmware version of their airports and that might help you too so let me know and uh, if you like this video leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace